Hello, my gorgeous, beautiful, wonderful queen bees. It is your girl, Amanda, the buzz artist. Welcome back to my channel. And if you don't know who I am, where have you been? I'm an artist hell-bent on helping you become a lot more creative and love yourself in the process when it comes to your art. And I also want you to know I actually put on makeup today because I didn't want to look like I had no pulse. So there's that. And speaking of having no pulse, we are in Halloween month, people. I am so excited because we got another acrylic painting tutorial. We're going to be painting a rendition of the Wicked Witch of the West, Alphaba, in all of her green glory. Shrek fans, get on my level. And in this acrylic painting tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can recreate this very cool looking witch for your Halloween extravaganza purposes, or to just hang around your house, or to give to a friend, or in the middle of a tornado storm. It's up to you. So with that being said, please be sure to grab your brushes and your supplies and come meet I'm gonna show you exactly how to make this. Yeah. <laughs> Hey everybody, your friendly neighborhood voiceover here. <laughs> and today we got this tutorial and I'm super excited to share it with y'all. So this is actually a sped up version of the full tutorial that I actually have on my website. So if you want to check out the full tutorial as well as the stencil that goes along with this tutorial, just check out the link in the description below. It's a lot of fun. I have an instructions step by step uh, and it's in real time. So you can follow along right along with me. But just to kind of give you an abridged version of what's going on here, let's get to it. I used some canvas paper to uh, use as my final support. I taped it down to the table so that it wouldn't move around. And I have an assortment of primary colors, including the color green. And uh, so what I decided to do was start with our background. Y'all know we always start with our background when we're trying to do a nice looking painting. You know what I'm saying? So what I wanted to do first was do like a nice cool night sky. I grabbed some blue with a little bit of red to give it a little bit of that purple. And I just concentrated in a circular pattern going um, maybe towards like more towards the left side of the canvas and um, center it and circle it outwards. I don't cover the entire surface with this, but I just wanted to kind of get the essence of it all. And uh, then I go ahead and add in a moon because of course you can't have Halloween and fall and those, you know, witchy colors without having like a moon. I mean, come on now. So I really just put in a combination of a little bit of yellow with some titanium white to get this kind of pale yellow looking moon. And what I kind of did was concentrate a lot of the yellow on the outer surface ring of the moon itself and a bit more white on the center. And then I kind of use this cool like a uh, dry brush technique to get emanations of rays coming out from the moon itself. So it kind of creates this really nice, interesting, uh, like foggy night sky, which is awesome. And then here I have the stencil that we're using for this tutorial. Like I said, you can find the stencil and the full length tutorial in uh, the description below. Be sure to check it out. But it's a witch, y'all. And I decided, well, how cool would it be if it was more like Alphaba, like the Wicked Witch of the West? And I, I really wanted to play with her green tones of her skin against the blue of the sky. I thought it just, I don't know, it just added like a really cool element to it all and uh, contrast. And y'all know how much I like my contrast, you know what I'm saying? So anyways, um, once I added in her her skin color, which is really just that that pure green. Oh, and by the way, if y'all don't have green on you, you have just the primary colors, red, blue, and yellow, no worries. You can just add uh, blue and equal parts, blue and yellow together to get you a nice looking green. And that's all you gotta do. I just so happen to have a lot of green left over, so I figured I might as well use it and uh, save myself some time. But once I got the green in, I went ahead and painted in the hat and hair of our character. And uh, again, I left it kind of just black for now, and then we will eventually go ahead and add in more details in the later steps. And then of course, I just gave her these like blood red lips because well, it's Alphaba, she's just freaking fabulous. I mean, who else do you know can rock green and still look so freaking amazing? I mean, let's be real here. I can't even pull anything close to that off. <laughs> let's be real. But once I have those details in, I start going with the detail round brush and really start to do my line work here. And I pay very close attention to the details. I try to stay and keep my hand as steady as possible, keep my brush nice and lubricated with water as I dip into the 
black paint and that's what gets me those really nice crisp lines and then we add a spider <laughs> i was thinking you know what what else could this scene use right now i feel like there needs to be like another focal point in here and i decided well an arachnid would be absolutely perfect here and plus it's so like shiny reflecting of the moonlight right which we represented with some white paint and that's what i ended up doing with the rest of this i went ahead and added more like shadow highlight details with my brushes to show the uh, moonlight hitting the hat and her lips and the tips of her hat and then after that we kind of just went a little crazy queen bees i mean i took i took my filbert brush and um i added some streaks to her hair now um i kind of wanted to go along the same theme as the background so it wasn't going to stand out too too much but you can choose any color you really want for this but i kind of really like the lavender and the blues so i kind of went with that and then i added some extra white highlights on top just to show this girl knows how to style herself you know what i'm saying like we definitely know alphabet visits the salon at least once every two weeks just to get her hair done right you know what i'm saying i am totally in love with this character and i most certainly had a great time making this and there we have it folks we have our very own wicked witch of the west painting i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and that my queen bees was our tutorial if you enjoyed this video please be sure to give it a like and to subscribe to my channel hit that like button you know what to do so that you can see more videos like this from me to you in the future tell me who is your favorite Halloween character? Comment below. Let me know. And remember to love yourselves and always have fun with your art. I'll see you all next time.